Welcome to the Bio Balance HealthCast, episode number 381, How to Make Any Vacation Healthier. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, brought to you today from sunny Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and we're talking about vacations. Vacations are things that we like to have, we like to go on if we can go somewhere, but they are by definition a break from our normal routines. And so we're doing something different because doing something different is a way to rest and re-energize even if you're still working or still being active. So you may be working hard physical labor at home, you take a vacation and you go somewhere and you do something that's hard physical labor. Uh, people in our church group go to Guatemala and build houses for the, for the poor. They do hard physical labor building those houses. Uh, I go on a ski trip with some buddies. We've been going on for a number of years. We go every year. And we ski really hard all day, every day, doing much more physical labor and physical activity than I regularly do at home, which is part of what we want mm-hmm. to be talking about today. Because when you think about vacations and you decide uh, what kind of a vacation do I want to take as, as uh, yourself individually or as a family or a group of friends, sit around and say, well, what are we going to do on vacation this year? And, and you think, are we going to go for a drive? Are we going to go somewhere historical? You know, go to Washington, D.C. and see all of the beautiful things that are there to see. And there are some incredible museums, both for art and history, that you can walk around and see. And it's all free and, and to the public. Yes, mm-hmm. most of it is. Some of it, there's some admissions, like the Air and Space Museum. I think we had to pay to get in for part of it. Mm. Uh, but at any rate, that you can go for a vacation for that, or you can go for a vacation to rest and rejuvenate and revitalize. And you go somewhere you can relax, somewhere where there's beautiful surround and nice people and quiet times and and so on. So any time, any way that breaks your schedule. And, yes. And let me just add this. You have to have a vacation. You have to have a break in your schedule. People who don't take their vacations don't live as long and don't aren't as healthy as people who do take breaks. And you don't have and to be wealthy. Do something I mean, different. You don't even have to go anywhere. Right. I mean, you can take a. You can clean out all your closets. I mean, I lo- I literally have taken a vacation week if, to just my clean wife my closet. Approached me and said, "Let's take a vacation and clean out all of our closets." No, I didn't make John do it. Okay. I just did it. That's your vacation. He played okay. golf. Yeah. You know, he he did his thing. I did mine. You know, and then we met for dinner. I mean, that's still a vacation. I used to sit when before we had a pool. I used to sit in the baby pool <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> vacation with Rachel. That's my vacation. Yeah. You know, because I had a baby, and you don't. It's hard to go places. And with you the baby. work a lot of hard hours. It doesn't matter so it's what about you do. It's just that you're not doing the same thing you do every single day. Right. And that. You, you agree with the people you're going with. It should be a vacation for everyone. It should not just be a vacation for one person. Like, oh, yes. I want to go see, mm, like, Porsches. If, that's if. my dream, and my wife doesn't like it, and my kids don't like it. That's really mm, not a vacation for everybody. We, we went to, <laughs> that's more stress. We went to Tuscany one time with, the, with four other couples. Mm-hmm. Three of the couples, we were all staying at this agriturismo uh, place in the middle of a farm field in, in rural Tuscany and driving into Florence and seeing the museums mm-hmm. and, and what have you. One of our friends is so enamored of Ferraris that he and his wife took two days out of the trip to go to the home of Ferrari and mm-hmm. see the production and, and buy the T-shirts and stuff to bring back home <laughs> awesome. to everybody. I, I was there, I was here. Fun. But it wasn't a thing that they asked anyone else to do. They knew nobody else, for, for no one else was that a special, intense thing. Mm-hmm. But for them, it was. And That's what they so wanted ideally to see. You go with There's only one place to see the Ferrari. That. Exactly. <laughs> the Ferrari uh, factory. Yeah. So when, um, I know people still do this. I choose not to do this, but when I was a kid, we get in the, pack up the Rambler, 
the old Nash Rambler. And drive across the country until the car broke down or something. I love that, and driving vacation. Yeah, Still. it was kind of like the vacation. We didn't take Grandma yeah. or anything, <laughs> and we didn't take the dogs. But, you know, it was, it was a vacation where you'd go to all the different places in America, which is really fun to see so all there's so many places, places you could take a vacation every year and see something different yeah. so we would do that and you know we had all of the stress that goes with packing unpacking all that stuff and I thought my, my dad loved it he never stopped for anybody to go to the bathroom I mean it was his I'm in control <laughs> vacation so I don't do that anymore because I still have those memories of uh, yeah. having to hold it until dad decided to stop for gas so now John and I go to places that are a different topography than home. We live in St. Louis, so we go to the beach, or we go to the mountains, yes. or we go to Europe to see historical sites, or, or and we floated the Colorado. We like really active vacations, and vacations where you have experiences that are different, but they're all physical. I guess until we get too Except old to you do run, that. You run the risk that a lot of, of doing what a lot of people do, and I know that you work not to do that, which is part <laughs> of what we're talking about. But I know people that go so hard and fast on vacation that they literally have to go back home to rest up from the vacation. That's true. They are physically exhausted and depleted. And I have to talk to my patients to do that and say, wait a minute, Stop. Yeah. that wasn't a real vacation because now you're too tired to go yeah. back to work. So we have a good example of that. Sometimes you go on vacation for your kids. Yes. So just think about this great idea that my, um, my old physician partner had, uh -huh. Dr. Ballman. She would take, she and her husband would take their kids to Disney World awesome they did everything the kids wanted to do for five days i don't know that's a big statement of love yes that's a big yeah. statement of love because that not everyone loves disney world it's exhausting if you're the parent actually yeah. the kids have a great time and they should but then they came home two days early and they dropped the kids off at grandma's and then they went to the ritz for two days <laughs> i mean <laughs> that was the perfect answer they could just chill out order room service yeah. get massages whatever but they had their vacation and that's what they were looking forward to the whole time but if you don't have a lot of money there are inexpensive vacations that you could take you can go camping you mm -hmm. can drive in a car I mean, you, but what, wherever you go whatever you do float, float a canoe uh, pace yourself with moderation especially in terms of the food and drink that you participate in and in terms of the physical activities that you do if you are not living a very physically active lifestyle and you go on a, on a week-long hike in, in the wilderness ski vacation, or a ski vacation and you don't or, prepare or, you you're going to get hurt tear a muscle blow out a knee hurt your back it takes six there are weeks. a lot of ways that you can get damaged and so you need to plan for that as it well it takes six weeks of preparation for you to go on a very Build up your legs. Yeah, a, yeah. yeah a, a very right. sports-like, I mean, sports trip. Or even going on the National Geo things where yeah. they have you, they tell you it's going to be high activity level or, or you know, you're, you're backpacking yes. into I don't know where. And uh, so they tell you that on the outset. But that doesn't mean you just go, oh, I know I'm going to be backpacking. I mean, you need to put a backpack on your back and start walking up the hills in your own neighborhood to get ready well, or and you, work you, with the trainer. You need to plan intelligently for your trip based on your own capacity mm -hmm. and your own health. I mean, uh, I know that we, we took my mother-in-law on a vacation one time, and she is somewhat limited in her mobility, mm -hmm. and we had to get through the Miami airport in maybe an hour uh, time from one gate to another. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever been there, but it's mm -hmm. massive. We actually mm -hmm. hired someone to pick her up at the gate in a wheelchair and get her to the other gate mm -hmm. so that she could physically get there without stressing out mm -hmm. and be able to do that. And so if there are issues of concern, if you have a child mm -hmm. that's limited or a husband that mm -hmm. is a walking heart attack, you want to <laughs> not wanna stress him out. Don't stress him out and have a heart attack in another country. Exactly. But you, you want to plan ahead for those mm -hmm. things in terms of thinking about how do we maximize our enjoyment with moderation involved in all mm -hmm. the things that we do. And right. moderation in diet, uh, certainly in alcohol consumption, expense, stress, all those things. Vacations are worthwhile if you can arrange to have them. They can enhance your soul and your spirit, your knowledge, Bond your, your fun, family your or relationship. Your visit your friends. But I mean, not these if you all, damage yourself while you're there. They're all soul yeah, enhancing, soul enhancing yeah. which is necessary to be healthy. It's not enough to have a great, healthy body. It's also necessary to have a healthy soul. So you read a good book or you visit friends that you love and you've not seen in a long time. You, I mean, that doesn't take a lot of money. That just, you're staying at someone else's home if you can. You experience something new. You may take a cooking class at home 
and that's your new event. Yeah, absolutely. That's renewing. I always believe that uh, I need to learn something new every year. And so every year I try to learn something new. Way back when, it yeah. was the computer. Yeah. And, and eventually you actually know how to use these things. One hopes. <laughs> yeah, I've never really learned to cook. So uh, although we've gone to Mama Agata in Italy and cooked with her, and that was half a day. That was awesome until I realized that the wine I was drinking was really wine and not grape juice. <laughs> I don't remember. And that was, that, that's not what you want to do. You want to remember the whole event, but it just didn't taste like wine. Anyway, <laughs> sure. but if you learn to do something new, that's also a good vacation. So, so as Oscar Wilde once said, moderation in all things except moderation. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you for listening. So when I go on vacation, I, I use all the products that I have at the office. And the way you use them to be healthy uh, and to keep your skin healthy, the largest organ of your body yeah. that you usually expose to the weather um, more than when you're at home and more days in a row. Um, I like to try to protect my skin so I don't come back a wrinkled mess and have more sunspots. So one of the things we do, we, and, we, and we sell this, body coffee is an oil that you put on before and after you go out in the sun. What it does is it, it prepares your skin for sun. You want to get some vitamin D, so you have to use sunscreens of a high number to begin with, and then you go down as you get tanner over the vacation. Right. So you go from a 50 to a, whatever, 30 to 30, a 15. 30, 15, yeah. So uh, I also advise my patients to use uh, image. This isn't really a commercial. This is just kind of advice. <laughs> but to use image sunscreen that also has kind of a, a little color in it. It gives you just a little bit of a, a covering of the uh, imperfections when you go out in the sun because that's the time when people are going to see every so imperfection in your face. People are going to see it, but does it also make a difference then in terms of the sun damage to those yeah. areas yeah, because getting that's, additionally it has a, damaged? This has a 30 SPF, and uh -huh. you should always have a, a higher SPF on your face than, and neck than anywhere else because otherwise you're going to be in my spa getting all of this stuff lasered, and that's much more expensive than preventing it. Not that I don't want you to come in for that, but... Well, but the concern is that dark spots on your skin can be precancerous, and you have mm -hmm. to find out if they are. Right. If they're not, you can have them lasered off. If they are, then there are other things that have to be done. But you want to have that level of awareness, and this will help protect that from additional damage. That's right. So when I come back in from the sun, mm -hmm. I use body coffee again. And then I, I put it all over so it quenches the dryness of your skin. It doesn't leave you scaly. And it also has... The, the contents of this product keeps you from getting burned, basically. So you use it after you've had some sun exposure, if you've had too much. This helps you feed the cells so that they don't get over, they're not damaged. And, and, and you if don't you feel didn't burned. do something like this, you're more likely to get burned, then you Which need is, to use a product afterwards that has some kind of an aloe in aloe. it to well, this protect has, your skin. Well, this has the, essentially the same kind, of, same kind of ingredients. It uh -huh. does the same thing. Okay. So... Um, this is not in our, in our, this is noon all day, L-U-N-U-U-N. -U -U I don't have this at the office, but I use it as an electrolyte supplement. So it comes in tablets you put in your water bottle. If you're playing golf and you've gone through three water bottles, you need to put some electrolytes back in if you're doing anything. I mean, the golf is five hours. At, well, what I've been learning recently, more consciously and deliberately than I've learned before, is that you really need to work to hydrate while you're being physically active. As you get older, for someone like myself that's getting older, I need to drink more water, and I'm not habituated to doing that. And so I get mm -hmm. scolded and told, you know, like, you need to hydrate more. And this is one of the ways that can help that happen. But you, you need to do that to help get the toxins out of your body and help keep your kidneys active and functioning. Drink a lot of water. And, and I know that many of us have heard the eight ounces eight times a day. Mm -hmm. You need I don't more track than that it that if way, hot. but if you're out doing something physically active, like playing golf or playing tennis or, or jogging or what have you, you need to make sure that you deliberately and consciously hydrate. The symptoms of dehydration mm -hmm. are that you start feeling, you start getting a headache, you start feeling weak, you start your your muscles start aching. All ball players know this. They take Gatorade. Right. It has a lot of sugar in it, so I don't really recommend that. This has no sugar in it, but it gives you 
potassium, sodium, and all of the minor electrolytes that keep us in balance. Yeah. So if you drink a lot of water without this, great, but you're flushing out all your salt, you're sweating salt, you're sweating potassium. I mean, you're losing potassium in your kidneys. And so everything is getting imbalanced and your body is weaker. And, and that's not a good thing yeah. for people over 50 right. to have. That, that can um, cause arrhythmias and all kinds of other problems with your heart. You don't want to be out in the sun and causing a heart attack. Or if you're doing artificial dehydrators like caffeine. If you're mm-hmm. really ingesting a lot of caffeine, it dries your body out. Mm-hmm. And that can cause your electrolytes to go and then you are at risk. You need more water then. Yeah. So um, one of the products that I, that it, that I helped um, create is called eye gel. So I, this is a gel that has four... I with an I or E-Y-E? E-Y-E. Okay. It's called Revitalizing Eye Gel. It's a BioBalance Health product. We uh, use this in our spa, mm-hmm. and I use it all around my eyes bef- before I go out, because you can't really put this in your, around your oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. So I put it around my eyes before I go out. I also put it on my upper lip, because that gets a lot of sun and, before I put sunscreen on. And the, it basically gives you the hydration, so you mm-hmm. don't lose all of the... Moisture, from, moisture your skin. from your skin, and those areas are likely to wrinkle more. So I try to hydrate it more, and then after I come back, after I wash my face, I put this on too. So this is in areas you can't put the body coffee, which is really body and face coffee. So that's one other thing I don't leave home without. But and if you didn't do that yeah. in your life before, you just now heard this discussion mm-hmm. and said, oh, I'm already all wrinkled up. Mm-hmm. There are procedures that can be yeah. done at your spa yeah. for healthy skin that help take some of those out. There are, inje- there are in- injections. We can, we can do filler, which fills in these little lines that you get from being out in the sun or sucking on a straw or drinking out of bottles. I mean, that's those some of the things, things that, that yeah. cause that. Smoking is really the biggest <laughs> cause yeah. of, r- of wrinkles clamorous. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So um, basically, that's um, something that you can have done, but you can also have laser done. And if, you, if you're at the beginning of this process, if you don't have deep grooves, then laser is the first thing you should do. And so you can either use an IPL laser, or we have all of these, an IPL, a pulse dye laser, or you can use a pixel laser, which is really deep and resurfaces the whole thing. So those are important things to know that if you already have this problem, you can get that fixed, but you don't want to then go on vacation and then... Get, worse. And, and get more damage. You want to protect yourself. So if you're not using the preventative products, right. there are restorative treatments that are yeah. available. Yeah, we have lots of those. All right. And uh, last but not least is our hemp CBD oil, the Med7. This is, I've, I've begun to take this all the time, and I didn't want to leave it at home just because it's a fluid. Yeah. So um, it really gives me more energy, helps replenish my, um, after exercise, helps replenish my body. While I'm drinking water, this helps. You feel better and less achy. If you don't know about CBD oil, we did a podcast. You can go to our website and search them. That We did one within the last two months on CBD oils. They are from the hemp base, which is the same thing that marijuana is from, but without the THC. It's legal. It's uh, non-prescription. You can get it anywhere. But if you get it, make sure that you get what is classified as medical grade because of the consistency of the ingredients and the level of the dosage What they does mix it make with a makes a difference, mm-hmm. too, for the availability. You can buy a lot of stuff on the Internet. I tried, yeah. before we uh, were introduced to this product, which just came out, to the doctors, we, uh, I tried a lot of things with multiple people uh, from the Internet, and it didn't do anything. This particular one, this the does. company that makes this, only sells it to doctors, and, and Kathy had to send in her... Uh, verification information to prove that yeah, she my was license. a physician who was licensed in Missouri and elsewhere. But that's not because it's in order dangerous. For them to sell it. No, because they want to make sure it's medical grade. So they only mm-hmm. sell it to physicians. They don't sell it on the Internet to the aftermarket. So right. It's good stuff. Yeah, it is good stuff. And it really, I mean, it helps almost everything. kind of fills in, if you don't get everything taken care of with pellets, testosterone, it fills in those little gaps that may not have been taken care of, like complete sleep through the night or, or anxiety. So we like that product, and it's a good one to take on vacation. just helps you uh, regroup. So if you keep living, we're going to work hard to keep you living healthy as best we can. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. 
For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit BiobalanceHealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash BiobalanceHealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.